Hey, it's Peter with Mob Guppy. Uh, it's holiday season, Thanksgiving week. I know a lot of people are going to be taking at least a couple of days off and perhaps getting out of town, driving to a relative's home or a friend's home out of town. What to do with the fish? Okay, I will give you my thinking on this. I have uh, I'm not a huge world traveler, but I've left my fish for a few days, you know, up to a week, and uh, without much problem. But you have to follow these steps. Uh, number one, um, don't overfeed before you go. Don't overfeed before you go. Uh, be ready to do uh, a water change after you get back. When you get back, now here's the deal, fish in the wild uh, can sometimes, especially when it's a little colder outside, can go days without eating. So, and in your aquariums, uh, my aquariums are not uh, sanitized, beautiful places. My guess is yours the same. You probably have some plants in there. There's food in there for your fish. So here's the deal. Don't overfeed before you leave. It's, uh, there's no need. Feed as you normally would. When you return, I've, now, I've been gone for a week without any problems with my fish. I've never had a fish, cra a fish tank crash, etc. Now there's something about where you leave the heat during winter. Uh, or the air conditioning during the summer. I will leave my heat. Uh, it's not going to be outrageously cold. Uh, this morning it was 17 degrees in Joplin Mo. So I'm not uh, keeping it outrageously. Come on, Maggie. I'm not keeping it outrageously uh, uh, you know, cold. I don't drop it down to 60 uh, it's, uh, that leads to a lot of evaporation from your tanks. Um, what I end up doing is I leave my, my home at about 63, 64 degrees. The highs are going to be in the 50s, the lows are going to be in the 30s while I'm away. I'm leaving on Wednesday. I'll give the fish a feeding before I leave. Um, I'm back on Saturday. So it's, uh, so when I get back on Saturday, um, I will feed them a very light feeding and then I will give them a bigger feeding probably about three, four hours later. Um, I feed a lot with baby brine shrimp and, uh, freshly hatched. They will not get that until day uh, you know, when it's all said and done, they're not going to get that until, uh, I'll set it up Monday they won't, or Sunday. They won't get it back till, they won't get that until Monday. So I'll feed a light feeding of high protein flake food or the Doug Gray high protein food. And then after that, I will go and enjoy, you know, give them a little bigger feeding, turn off the lights and then on Sunday, I will feed them. Maggie, leave it. Maggie's be this. Leave it. Yeah, she's being. You being a little bit of a butt. You want to go in the backyard? Here. Do you want to go in the backyard? It's like, woo. She loves the backyard. Uh, yeah, so that's the secret. And so Sunday, they'll eat exactly as they do. And uh, when you get back, a big mistake you can make is giving them a huge feeding. My feeding, when I get back, will be very small. I mean, just tiny. Um, with guppies, you know, there's a fighting chance that uh, some baby guppies may have been born. And they're not going to be living. The bigger fish are going to eat them all. So there you go. As much as I wish they would all live, that's not the, you know, the way of the world. Uh, so, yeah, so there. little helpful hint. Uh, your fish will be fine. 
Um, it's uh, the one thing I will do, even if you just did a water change a couple of days ago, before you go out of town, top off your aquariums. Top them off. And uh, that'll be really good. What are you doing? She's realizing I'm not paying full attention to her. Yeah, my dog is spoiled. My dog is spoiled. So there you go. Helpful hints. I hope that you have an amazing Thanksgiving.